I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa. A major controversial pipeline project that would have created tens of thousands of jobs across the country and brought in billions of dollars worth of investments is now dead. Trans-Canada Corporation announced this morning it is terminating its application for the controversial Energy East pipeline, which was first proposed in 2013 and would have brought 1.1 million barrels of crude oil a day from the oil sands to the East Coast. Word of the pipeline's demise sparked celebration from environmental activists and politicians in Quebec who opposed the project, but also deep disappointment in Alberta and New Brunswick, regions that would have seen the biggest benefit. But Trans-Canada is not explaining its decision. The company is refusing to do media interviews and instead has put out a statement only saying the cancellation has come after careful review of changed circumstances. It's that vagueness that has led to a lot of political finger pointing on Parliament Hill. Today is a result of the disastrous energy policies promoted by Justin Trudeau. So the opposition is blaming the cancellation on interim environmental assessment rules that the government placed on energy projects last year. But the Trudeau government is fighting back, saying this is not about policy, this was a business decision. It's obvious that the market conditions have changed fundamentally since Energy East pipeline was first proposed. Oil was up around $90 a barrel, and that Conservative government were unable to get any pipelines approved while they were in government. Uh, the fact is, since then, uh, oil prices have dropped by half. So whether it's policy or business, TransCanada's decision to pull the plug on Energy East could still pose some problems for the Trudeau government. For one, the economy won't get the boost it otherwise would have had. A failure to get the pipeline built could provide more ammunition for political foes. And there may be more scrutiny for the government's plan to introduce new permanent environmental assessment rules for energy projects. Those new regulations are expected in the not-so-distant future. In Ottawa, Cormac McSweeney, City News.